Back in the panda, my demonstration of its brilliance wasn't going too well. Oh, no! You're crunching it! Oh. Well, it's still standing! Exactly, there's nothing wrong with it. Shush. We can edit that bit out. So when the digital camera takes a picture, it thinks, well, that's a Saab. But when they look at the photo, they'll see it's an Alfa Romeo and it's going the wrong way. Hyde Park on the left there, sir. In the MG, poor old Jamelia was attracting a lot of attention from fans. Not least because Hammond had had to modify his intercom to make it legal. Sorry about the fan thing trying to chat you up there. That was a bit awkward for you, I'm sure. I can't but... hear you. Oh. So, Jamelia was embarrassed in the MG, Lamar was bored in the Alphard, and Chris had yet to appreciate the panda's brilliance. Uh, oh, that's, that is a catastrophe that's just happened now. Is, can you, is that car behind me very close? Yes. And then Lamar woke up as he began to realise that James had no idea where he was going. So the car doesn't have navigation, that's OK. Well, it has navigation of sorts in that it has a driver who's lived in London for 20 years, 21 years now, in fact. Where are we now, sir? Um, we're just coming on to... Um, uh, um... To distract Chris from the fact that we were almost constantly stuck, I engaged him in some musical small talk. I once went to Earl's Court in 1976, saw Bad Company there, Simon Kirk. He did a drum solo like you wouldn't believe. It was now six o'clock. Lamar was supposed to be at the Brits in half an hour and James was miles away, stuck in the side streets of central London. Actually, if you don't mind, sir, this is sort of where I need your help. Um, okay. Because the reason this car will go round these very small corners is because you can steer it from both ends, but I'm afraid I'd have to ask you to sit in the Alfa Romeo and yeah. steer. By this stage, Moyles was hungry and thirsty, and because I hadn't thought to include any onboard catering, he'd been shopping for supplies. What was that? I was getting on my seat. Oh, so I thought someone had run into us. Turn left. Right, left? Yeah, your left. My left? Yeah. That's it, that's perfect. You see, yeah. straight round that very tight bend. You see, now a normal limousine wouldn't go round like that, would it? Let's do another one. Hard left, sir. OK, so this, um, just, just the whole thing is not... Um, you need to straighten up a bit, so we're crabbing rather Well, I badly. can't because the whole, the, you know, the, your wheel thing is a bit... Oh, hang on. That doesn't sound good. That's... Oh, sorry. Road closed. I've got to go right. And then it got worse. <laughs> That's not gone well, has it? Where are you going? You're going that way. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> the bus couldn't back up, and I was stuck on a double mini roundabout. I can't make this turn, Chris, at all. Look where you're going! Whoa! Thank you. There, we're clear. Earl's Court was now just minutes away. What was that noise? I still don't think you appreciate the complexity of linking up a rear-engine car when you stretch it. Red carpet it is for you. And she wasn't too pleased with my clever exit solution. Sorry about the ladder thing, the steps weren't ideal. Whilst Jamelia regained her composure, I checked on the others. Jeremy, how are you doing? Um, uh, not well. It's what? It's in two pieces on the Lily Road. It's broken in half. 
I'm sorry not to be more supportive. Sorry, Chris. We end up being like an hour late or something like that at this rate, isn't it? You know? The first time I'm nominated, best male, you know, UK, best male, Lamar. Surely, sir, in the music business, it's fashionable to be quite late. Anybody, nobody ever turns up on time, do they? It's fashionably late and they're stupidly late, you know? I can only apologise, sir, but it's... I don't want to hear anything. Just, please, just get me there. Well, there's five minutes to go. May is hopelessly lost. Jeremy's car is split in half. That means, by default, if nothing else, I am the winner! Yeah! Hammond may have been gloating. But I wasn't out of the competition yet. Dignity, okay, yeah. Dignity, yeah. Dignity. Yeah. What? Right. So, Moyles was happy, but Hammond wasn't. You cheated! You finished with half a car. You're supposed to finish with a stretch. What the I've got the man here. Meanwhile, in a car somewhere nowhere near Earl's Court, Lamar, acknowledged as one of the gentlemen of pop, had had enough. Strictly speaking, it's left, but I think if we go right, I can go round the back. What do you mean, uh, right? Well... Right, why? You just said, no, listen, you just said go left, right? Well, most so, people would go left, sir. So, most pe so why don't we just follow what most people do? Because like, I think if we go right... No, are you doing this intentionally now? This no. Is just, no, this is actually just, just, just stupid. This is just... Are you a jerk? No, is this but... What it, you've, have you come to mess up my day? You've picked me up, you've driven me round and round in circles in London, been past Harrods 11 or 100 times now. Left, you're telling me to go right. I'm not taking this anymore. Just open this damn door. I think it's... Find out loud. Stupid doors I've been building. I have it. Get it. 